Hi there. In this video, we'll be discussing seat-based pricing. The seat-based model bills a price per quantity up front on a recurring basis. This model best represents billing per user or seat for time-based access. So the example we'll be using today is a customer support application that charges $20 for the first user and $20 for any additional users that you might have. So head over to your Recurly dashboard and we'll get started. First, click Configuration on the left side here, and then Plans. Next, you'll want to head up to the top right and click New Plan. First, we'll start off with some basic information about the plan. So we'll just call this Customer Support Application. And I'm going to copy that over to my plan code as well as my description. And then we'll get into the billing here. So this one is going to be billed by the month. We're going to charge that $20 per billing period for that first user. We want to make sure that this is not checked here. So the quantity is not editable because they have to buy one. Then we'll get into our subscription term. So this is going to be one billing period. And then what do we want to do at the end of the subscription term? Do we want to renew or cancel? So basically what this is saying is since this is a monthly service, it has one billing period per month. And then what do we do at the end of that month? Do we renew or do we expire? So we're just going to click renew. Now let's talk about how we're going to have those additional seats for anyone that signs up for this plan. And that's called a single use add-on. In this case, it's a fixed price, so we're going to call this Extra Agent. And it's an additional $20. So we want to allow customers to subscribe to this plan without this add-on, right? Because they could be signing up just for one seat, so they don't need additional. In other words, it will not be added to the subscription by default. We also want to make this editable. So we want to allow customers to edit the add-on quantity. Do we want to provide a free trial? In this case, we don't. Is there a setup fee? In this case, there isn't. And the final step here is just to take a look at the emails that are going to be sent out uh, for the various actions that happen, such as subscription changes, payment confirmations. You can deselect any of these. You can add additional. And then we're just going to click Create Plan. And that's it. We've got our plan created here. If you want to take a look at the hosted page by Recurly here to look at the plan and, and kind of play around with it, you can view that right here just by copying and pasting into your browser. And you can create additional plans just by heading back to your plans page and clicking Add New. Thanks so much for watching.